This sentence begins with a capital letter. It's the capital D. Do you recognize the word? It's our tricky word do. Let's read the sentence. Do not kick the tap. There's an exclamation mark there, so we need to say this with expression. Let's read the sentence fluently with expression. Do not kick the tap. This sentence begins with a capital letter too, which might make it tricky for us to recognize our tricky word, he, but that's what it says. He has. Now remember the buzzing noise at the end of those short words. Has a black rat. Put it together smoothly. He has a black rat. We already know it has a capital, but it also finishes with a full stop. This sentence begins with a capital letter, and it's a little bit tricky because we haven't learnt this letter yet, but it is we, the first word. Let's read. We jump on the log. You read it now smoothly. And it finishes with a punctuation mark. We have just read three sentences. Remember that sentences start with a capital letter, end with a punctuation mark, they need to make sense, and they need to contain a subject and predicate. Now we are going to become investigators and compare two sentences. The first sentence and the second sentence will nearly be the same, but one will be correct and the other will be incorrect. We need to try and work out which one is correct. We will begin by reading the first sentence. Ready? She jogs to the hut. She jogs to the hut. Let's read the second sentence. She jogs to the hut. She jogs to the hut. They both say the same thing, so let's check for capital letters at the beginning. Oh, there's a mistake. Can you see which one's correct? It's number two because it has a capital letter. Let's investigate another two sentences. Starting at number one, he ran up the hill. He ran up the hill. Reading number two, he ran up the hill. He ran up the hill. They both say the same thing, so let's check for capital letters. Yes, they both have capital letters. What about punctuation at the end? <gasps> oh, which one's correct? It's the top sentence number one because it has a full stop. Read sentence number one. The frog can hop. The frog can hop. Great. Now number two. The frog hop can. The frog hop can. Hmm. Let's check for capital letters. Yes, they both have capitals. What about a punctuation mark at the end? They both have punctuation marks. Which one makes sense? The frog can hop or the frog hop can. It's the top sentence. Number one makes sense and is the correct sentence. Read sentence number one. My cat rips the map. My cat rips the map. Now sentence number two. Rips 
the map. Hmm. Okay, let's check that they've both got capital letters. Yes, they do. What about a punctuation mark at the end? They have that too. Do they make sense? My cat rips the map. Yes, rips the map. Hmm, sort of. What about a subject? My cat, cat rips the map. What's the subject? It's the cat. What about rips the map? Who's the subject? Oh, there isn't one. So it's not a proper sentence. The first one is the correct sentence. In order for a sentence to be correct, it must begin with a capital letter, end with a punctuation mark, it needs to make sense, and it must contain a subject that is the who or what the sentence is about, as well as the predicate, which we will learn about later. Hi, are you interested to see what happens next? If you have a child going into kindergarten, you can watch the full video by purchasing our Aussie Readers Kindergarten Literacy Program over on our website. Link in the bio. See you guys over there. Bye.